Good morning everyone. Today's video is going to be a 24 hour reading vlog attempting to read Happy Place by Emily Henry. I'm very excited. New release. Romance. I'm not a romance reader but she has been changing my mind. I've read, this is going to be my fourth book by her. I really liked Book Lovers which was my first one and then I read Beach Read. Love that one too and I then tried People We Meet on Vacation which I wasn't feeling the connection, the chemistry between the two characters. I feel like enemies to lovers tend to work better for me. I feel like usually in fantasy when I like a romance that's the case. So this sounds like it might be a little bit like that. I'm not percent sure what happens but I believe this is like a couple they broke up but they didn't tell anyone and they are forced to go on vacation together. So hopefully the lovers to enemies to lovers work for me. If I'm being honest, I actually started last night, but I've locked it. So we're gonna, you know, do 24 hours backward. It just arrived. I got really excited. I had nothing better to do because I'm still recovering from surgery. So this was just perfect. By the way, I'm doing great. Really good. Uh, the worst part right now is that the stitches are itchy and sometimes I forget <laughs> because I'm not in pain and I'll scratch and then I'm in pain. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I'm great. Uh, the kittens are absolutely insane. They're driving me crazy. Today I actually need to vacuum that room. I'm feeling good enough to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you clips of them soon because they're adorable but absolutely insane. And yeah, that's the plan. Reading this whole book or finishing it, I'm at page like 100. Um, and then finding names for the kittens. That's going to be our mission for today's vlog. Yeah, it's raining. There's nothing better to do. I'm not supposed to overdo it still and I keep forgetting that I had surgery. So like <laughs> I need to sit down and focus on that and just getting my together. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I hope you're excited. Okay, last minute decision. I was bored and decided to start the book, which I'm assuming I said in the intro, but I started it. I'm at chapter four and I went into it not knowing 100% what the premise was about like I knew it was like a they used to date they broke up didn't tell anyone but I really don't understand so far although I'm on page 26 but I still don't understand so far why do you can't just tell people that they're not engaged anymore I'm um, assuming it's gonna start making sense hopefully eventually but I don't get it okay I'm straight up just <laughs> six pages further but I'm already really excited for the banter because that is my favorite thing about her like I know I'm gonna laugh a couple times, which is what I want. Um, but I don't know if I should be concerned about the fact that her friend liked her ex-fiance before they got together. Hopefully that's not going that direction. Um, but they're currently like flirting when they first meet in a car. And I'm really concerned about the fact that they keep looking at each other. It keeps being sad. He's driving. How? 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 Um, so yeah, anybody else has noticed that? <laughs> it's not important, but sometimes in movie too, like I'm like, you're staring at each other way too long and I'm very concerned. So that's, that's the seriousness of this update. Okay, I'm on page 39. Um, I have to say, I'm a big fan of the one bed trope. I can't help it, okay? I like it. I feel like it, they have to be forced somehow to interact, otherwise they can't get back together. And by the way, we're not addressing my PJs, okay? <laughs> I just realized what I look like. We're not addressing this. Um, I have stitches and wearing pants is really uncomfortable. And this is one of the only like dresses, bed dresses, PJ dresses that I have. So we're just rocking it and no shame. Um, it's, it's really soft and comfy too. So who cares? Uh, but yes, <laughs> they have to share a bedroom. Boohoo. Uh, <laughs> My theory, though, which I won't know until I'm editing, and I'm not going to say it that way, you know, you won't know. My theory is that the friends know that the engagement is off, because why would they suddenly give them this bedroom? It's suspicious. It's suspicious. I'm literally one page further. Listen, we're going to address this. Early on is the time for the theories, and, like, I won't know any better, so it doesn't count. But... I feel like she's a little bit of doo-doo hat, the main female character. I'm always, I'm always trying to decide who I'm rooting for, if anyone in the couple or both. Um, but so far she's being a little bit of a doo-doo hat because she's like, oh, his pupils are dilating because he's angry. Woman, he's clearly still in love with you. 
Okay, I'm um, two pages further and the explanation for the breakup came up. I'm not going to explain it. That way we can still keep this spoiler free. Um, I, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. It better not be miscommunication. I hate, like, I understand if, I'm assuming we're going to get their backstory soon and they both seem to have some trauma, family trauma or whatever. Um, but so far I think it's dumb. <laughs> Also, I find it hard to believe that none of the friends knew that they were hooking up for a year while they were living all together. It's weird. I'm updating you literally every two pages. I'm at page 45. And I'm not buying it. First off, I think it's very unfortunate that they're going to have to play pretend. You know, he's going to be forced to touch her. They've agreed on the limits. He can't help himself. He's always been touchy-touchy. Oh, no. But, like, I'm not buying it. I feel like the situation makes no sense. In the other books, the enemies to lovers made sense to me. Like, you have to have a good reason, though, to be enemies. And so far, it hasn't been really explained. Like, they broke up, but, like, you don't really know. It just seems to be miscommunication or, like, insecurity. And I just don't... I'm not a big romance reader, right? So I feel like it's probably why my threshold is very... So, anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Page 45. I'm probably going to bed soon, but I, I want to get a little bit more before that. Okay, um, I finally actually started <laughs> reading instead of updating every two minutes. I'm at chapter 8, but I wanted to address page 81. Um, we need to discuss sense. Male sense, specifically, in the romance books that I've read. Why do they always smell like the weirdest <laughs> Like, oh, he smells like spring sunshine. Like, I'm not getting it. Like, him so far, it wasn't that bad. Like, his throat, whatever, his neck smell like pine. Okay, pine smells nice. Fine. But apparently now his deodorant smells like clove. Clove? Like, I'll, I'll admit, I'm not well versed in male deodorant, but clove? <laughs> clove. Okay. I really want to root for them, though. But so far, I feel like the situation is too far-fetched. But I'm trying to, you know, get attached to characters and see where it's going to go. But yeah, I'll probably fall asleep before I update you one more time. So I'll see you tomorrow. But so far, love the banter. And I want to get attached. Like, I, I feel myself wanting to get attached. We'll see if it works or not. If this one's going to be more, like... The books that I like about her are the ones I, the one I didn't care for. So, not bad so far, though. It's exactly what I needed right now. Like, something that I don't need my brain because I don't have one right now. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. So, I'm finally continuing. I am in the middle of chapter 11 and two things so far. First off, now she thinks he might be dating someone else, which, da da da, is he? It doesn't sound like he left her for someone else. Um, and they were definitely sent on purpose to go and fetch wine because they were like planning something. I'm gonna keep it vague, even though it's not really. I feel like what is a spoiler in one of these books? You know, I'll put it on the screen whenever we get to an actual spoiler, but it's probably not gonna be until the end when I actually review it, and I'll put it on the screen as always. But yeah, it sounds like it was totally done on purpose. Anyway, uh, so far I'm still enjoying the banter, um, but I still don't know if I'm buying the whole thing. My only regret right now is that this is such a bright pink color. Even my, let me show you. I put a little rose <laughs> as a bookmark. The, my only regret right now is that I'm not wearing like a bright pink shirt. I only have a bright red pink dress. I think it's actually one in my profile picture. I just didn't feel like getting ready. You know, this is why we're doing a 24 hour reading vlog. I have no energy still. <laughs> so this is, this is sad, but you know, no pink lipstick, but I just wanted to say, no matter what happens, I'm still going to be happy to have that on my shelf because it's bright pink. Because I used to have like a rainbow bookshelf in my background and I didn't have a good bright pink. I ended up buying a mystery thriller that I didn't really care what it was about because the spine was bright pink. And now I could have replaced it with this, you know, no matter what happens, <laughs> it's still going to make me happy. 
happy place. Taking a little tea break because the kittens are exhausting. Uh, I wanted to talk about today's sponsored, which is Book of the Month. As you might know, their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover books that they'll love. Their team vets hundreds of books each month and give their subscribers a choice of new and early releases. You pick the one you're interested in and you get it sent to you. They also have a great skip policy, so if for whatever reason one month you don't want one, you can easily skip and you won't get charged. And finally, they started carrying audiobooks. I'm a big fan of audiobooks, so if that's your thing also, I will link down below. You can use the code FLOWERS to get your first one for $5. So I was able to choose whichever one I, I wanted the most, and I chose The Last Word by Taylor Adams. Wait until you hear what it is about. Uh, after posting a negative book review, a woman living in a remote location begins to wonder if the author is a little touchy or a little dangerous. Is the author going to be so bitter that he's gonna stalk and try and kill her. Listen, as a booktuber, I had to, I had to. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna be as good as it sounds because that was right up my alley. I needed to pick this one. So I will link that below, like I said, all the information. Thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. And I'm adding this to my TBR, hopefully before the fall because end of summer is usually when I start binge reading all the mystery thrillers. So yeah, let's go, let's go see the kittens because this morning they were totally bullying me which I said in this blog, I really want to find a name for them or attempt to. I feel like before that, I felt like, you know, decision fatigue. I couldn't make one more decision. I still feel a little bit like that, but I think I'm going to attempt to find a name for everyone today, all four of them. And we can debate in the comment section. You can give me suggestions and then, you know, eventually I'll have official names. But yeah, I said that I was being bullied because frankly, they have so much energy and I'm still very tired. Uh, I had help for the first couple of days, don't worry. But they keep like playing with their water bowl and their food bowl and there's just food and water everywhere, every day, multiple times. And it's really exhausting. And they have so much energy and I'm trying to like exhaust them. But like, again, it's hard. Uh, I have a clip, actually, let's go in order, one by one, the kittens. That way, you know, we can talk about them. Um, I wish it was sunny, that way I could just grab them and show you, but I'll insert clips and we'll do that. When I officially named them. So number one, I've been calling the sweet baby, right? He's he's just sweet. Uh, he's definitely a strong contender. I'm planning on keeping one kitten. Um, and I mentioned that I want them to not annoy mom and not have too much energy because I am not a kitten person. Um, as much as I think they're adorable, I love them to bits. Taking care of a kitten is a different story. I It's a lot. And yeah, so... He's definitely the most chill one. Uh, he's usually pretty gentle. He's definitely not the one that attacks me the most. He's not the one that attacks mom the most. And I've mentioned in the past, he's not the smartest one either, which is a good thing. I can hear the freaking water bowl right now being, <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, so we like a dumb kitty, okay? It, it's just the case because they're just not malicious. He's always the last one to figure out how to do things like escape. So it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, he's the one that's all black with no thumbs. So, you know, the least special one, but he's special to me. Uh, Name-wise, I know a few of you mentioned that you thought I should name him something like Jane Austen. And he has really, like, puppy energy. So people were thinking Mr. Bingley, which I do think would be cute, but I can't. It's a mouthful. So I looked up what his name, first name was, and it's Charles, which that was my grandfather's name. So maybe you could call him Charlie. That might work. Is it a bit boring for a cat? What is a normal cat name? I, I don't know. Uh, number two is the bully, okay? We're just getting my phone got full, so I don't know where I was at. But uh, yeah, she's a bully. I have a clip of her this morning bullying me, literally. I don't know if she was trying to bark or something. Uh, but yeah, she's adorable. Like, I love her, but like, I can't. She's definitely the one I'm not keeping. Um, and I'm going to cry about it, so don't worry. Um, I'm being like this right now because <laughs> I don't want to cry. But yeah, she's adorable. Um, and I don't know what to call her except Nibble because she's been nibbling at everything, my toes included. But there's a few like cardboard boxes in that room. I'll try to insert a clip. She's bitten every single one of them. She loves doing that. So I think Nibble might work. She's definitely very photogenic, by the way. I know a lot of you think she's adorable. I agree. But yes, I do feel for my life. Yesterday, she literally jumped at my head. So I'm not keeping her. <laughs> uh, and then we have number three, the escape artist, chunky baby, needy baby, crusty baby. I feel like he has so many names. Um, but yes, he has figured out how to escape the boxes I had. So now I had to move the dresser to block the door because they escape constantly. And 
I can't have them running around middle of the night because, especially that one, okay? When I was recovering, 24 after my surgery, I heard noises and I had to look in the staircase and who do I see on top staring at me? Chunky baby, number three. Um, and I start going up the stairs very slowly because I'm trying to be careful. And you know what that dum-dum does? He throws himself down the stairs. He throws himself. So I like accelerate to just go and put him back there. But like, yeah, he's also not very smart, but has a lot of energy too, like the little girl. So, and he also has thumbs and he's lighter. So if you see clips, I'm trying to give you tips. And he's the only one that his eyes are not getting closer to yellow because mama has yellow eyes and dad has blue eyes. So I don't know if he's going to still have blue eyes or if he's just slow. Um, but yes, you have to see this. He becomes absolutely feral. If anyone else approaches, he growls. <laughs> I've never seen him like this. He's usually so gentle. Oh my God. Oh my God. Chunky baby, I don't know what to call him because I feel like I'm going to keep calling him Chunky because it's cute and he's cute. And yeah. And mom, um, I do like the idea of calling her Lilith which is a mouthful though for me. Um, H is, she's right there staring at the window, but um, yeah, I've been calling her Kitty, which is, <laughs> so she responds to that. So like, maybe we should call her something else for a nickname. I don't really love Lily, which could work, but I don't know. See, clearly I can't make decisions. So I'm just gonna insert some clips of kittens and I'm gonna go back to rating because that's all my brain can take at the moment. So this is number three. This is the needy baby. He gets a million kisses because he lets me. We don't bite. We don't bite. We don't bite. Ah. He's so cute. And look, his eyes are kind of blue. Probably not for long. I think you're just slow. <laughs> okay, he's the least dangerous to grab. Let's grab the one eating my toes right now. I don't trust her. What's, I have to hold her paws because she will attack me. Of course, now she's licking me because the camera's on. She's she's meant to be on social media. <laughs> See? And then the other one is under the bed. Let's grab him. And this is number one. I trust him. He's not gonna. He's a cutie, but he's not as cuddly as he used to be. But right now he was playing, so I'm probably not helping but he's such a wiggly baby he looks exactly like mom look they're playing in the background anyway and this is mama she look how similar they look she's so cute oh my god the bag is making it look like there's light from the the attic that is scary but yeah she's the one with the thumbs that's why they all have except number one thumbs Sorry. Okay, I'm on chapter 18. And we're kind of getting more and more about the breakup. And it sounds like they broke up because he's insecure. They can't communicate. I can't stand it. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm sounding so harsh. Like, oh, he's insecure. Oh, awful. But like, the guy's hot. But, you know, oh, no, I live in a small town. I'm from a small town. I want to live in a small town. And she, you know, could be a surgeon, blah, blah. But I don't know. It doesn't sound like she's that happy over there either um it sounds like he took the excuse of a dude they're not really explaining it so i guess this is the section the spoilers i will have put it before but like it sounds like they're broke up because he got jealous of someone else and just insecure boo hoo um <laughs> so harsh this is how i get okay in these i get so emotionally invested for no reason uh but i feel like there's a few things that just don't make sense like why does he suddenly have money to buy, you know, books and stuff? We'll see. There's just, we're just getting info slowly, 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 which makes sense because we're seeing the story through our eyes, but still not buying. I'm liking the banter though, the whole like, oh no, I'm teasing. Okay, I'll admit it. Um, clearly I'm invested, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to update you here because my phone is too full and I'm so scared of deleting things. So I wanted to update you. I've made some great progress. You can see I'm like halfway through. I need to like step it up. Actually, I'm here. 
uh, but I really want to talk about a quote <laughs> because oh my god. Page 205. It's not, it's not a spoiler, but one of the things that I struggle with with romance is yes, the scent thing, the clove thing, why? But also the description, it's always the freaking eyes. It's always the eyes. Uh, the girls, it's like their eyes are like so special colors. Um, but him, apparently, <laughs> I know he hasn't actually said anything profound, but when his pale coyote eyes lift to mine. <laughs> no, 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 -uh. <laughs> no. Listen, you could have the best woman ever. And you put that in there, I'm out. I'm out. Like, it just takes me out of story. I can't take you seriously. Like, I can't, I can't focus when you say sh stuff like that. Uh, anyway, I'm at chapter 22. Um, and we just had a scene. Um, and we get a bit more about him being insecure, you know, with his background. Because he's from a small town. And, like, I get... Like, I feel like I'm sounding mean. But how I am with books in real life, completely different, of course. Um... And even fantasy compared to like contemporary setting. Like in a fantasy, I will ship the toxic man with the girl. In a contemporary or real life, absolutely not. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, him being insecure, I was mentioning that I think the last update. But we got more of the background. He was the prom king in his small town. And like boohoo, people like all want you. But then when they get to know you, they realize you're boring. Which like, again, fair enough in real life. But like in the book, I'm like, Bish, please. And like, she's obsessed with you. So like, you have no reason to be insecure. Again, oh, uh. <laughs> but like prom king with his coyote eyes. Come on. <laughs> oh gosh. You know, even if I'm cringing a bit, it's making me laugh. So like, for that reason, I'm definitely continuing. I don't think this is gonna be my favorite by her unless like things really switch up for the second half. Um, but it was nice to laugh, so I'll see you later. <laughs> Coyote freaking eyes. I think I'm around 250. So yes, we get more about her backstory and I guess spoily-ish, but again, I feel like in these books, unless the ending is shocking, it's not really a spoiler. Um, so yes, we get more about why she decided to become a doctor and like the background of her family explaining why she sucks at communicating and I really feel for her. I still think, how old are they? I don't know how old they are. Um, but I feel like both of them need therapy because <laughs> they're really miscommunicating and I hate that trope. I feel like they just needed to, like, I know they're not doing it on purpose, but yeah, I'm struggling. I, I feel like really sad for her. Uh, actually, we're going to mention what it is. But like her parents basically abandoned all their dreams to have the family because they got pregnant with uh, her. So she wants to make it up to them and like achieve something big, become, you know, this doctor because they never got to. And she never wanted to be a doctor. So I'm really hoping that it means that they're going to fix it and she's gonna go live in a small town with him because she seemed to really like his family. Actually, I really like his family. So we're hoping that that's gonna be the ending because if I'm not gonna ship them 100%, at least I want to be happy with the ending. So yeah, that's the update. I'm gonna go fight the kittens because that one is like, <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> Listen, be impressed that I've managed to read so much of the book already. Although we're approaching supper time and like I have half the book left. Can I read a hundred and thirty pages tonight? Yeah, of course I can do that. If I don't get distracted. 275 and um right now I feel like this whole thing is very depressing without the payoff. It better and well because I'm getting kinda annoyed and disappointed by the whole thing. It's not book lovers. Let's let's just say that. I really thought she would be my exception, and I guess it's two of her books that are the exception for me. Okay, I'm like four pages further, and the breakup makes a lot more sense now. I'm not liking it, but it makes a lot more sense. I am so annoyed, so freaking annoyed. I'm at two ninety, and like, Celeste, I love you. Shh, shh. Shush, stop being dumb. 
they're both clearly so in love with each other it's so dumb just get back together and i'm supposed to read another like 90 pages of this stuff <laughs> i'm getting so mad at this book like ah like i feel like at least usually i root for one of the characters but in this case they're both equally dumb i get it we got the background and i feel for them but this shit is dumb just date just date i finished it quick review should you read this book no no uh unless you're absolutely obsessed with work i don't think it's worth it i think i liked it less no 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 not less than people would be on vacation i think i'm gonna give it a generous three stars does it really deserve it by my standards uh with like romances no and all of my standards might be high but I don't have that many things to compare it to, but no. I love the family of the main male character, and I'm happy with how it ends. I should have made that clear, but I, yeah, I don't think the ending compensates for, frankly, this is miscommunication. There are good tropes, the whole having to share a bed, blah, blah, blah yes okay being stuck like they wouldn't have never worked out if they hadn't been forced to be together and the whole lying to everyone just felt dumb the breakup felt dumb the whole like i can't be together for like 300 pages felt dumb so <laughs> yeah i don't really recommend it am i still happy i read it yes because frankly i laughed a couple times i do love her banter and his bright pink but i think the majority of you are going to be disappointed with this book. There. So yeah, not a bad thing. Uh, let's go see the kittens instead. I think that should have been the priority. I actually vacuumed, which was so needed. So I can actually show you them running. They, they're galloping now. And frankly, I can't stop laughing at the like tippy taps. It's just mm, so cute. Incredibly annoying. I'm hearing them destroying my chair right now, but so cute. Let's end on the good note, you know? Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Oh my God, I'm seeing you make a brush. This is not a good sign. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? This hurts. I'm wearing leggings, which was a mistake. <laughs> They're running so fast now. And of course they made a mess again. You're running so fast. She's jumping around and you're hurting me. Look at these claws. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Oh, you're so fast. So fast. They're jumping. They're running. Honestly, they're just very impressive at this point. They just, they used to struggle. Like two weeks ago, they couldn't walk. And now they're just absolutely insane. And she's doing this. Yeah, this hurts, of course. Look at them. They're getting so tall too. Do you see how big they are? They used to fit in my hand and now they barely fit on my thigh. You're so big. You're so fierce. So fierce. Oh my God. And this is why there's always water everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Way too much energy. He's looking at the storm. Maybe that's why they're crazy right now. There's a storm. That's a lot of running. He has it in his mouth. He's so cute. He's running with it in his mouth. Go. Are you playing with the water? I just cleaned it. There's no more water. she doesn't want cuddles but she does you definitely do needy baby and then 
the cuddly softy.